Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope. Thank fucking God we have finally made it to the original trilogy. The film that launched careers, gave birth to an entire galaxy far, far from here, ignited generations of fandom, and delivered a tale of hope, wonder, and boundless imagination. This is where it all began for almost every Star Wars fan alive today. Whether it's because they were around for the release of the original films, or because our parents showed them to us at a very young age. Now, with this entry into our Star Wars Day celebration, I want to do something a little bit different. Rather than starting out by just sitting here and telling you all what Star Wars is, and what it has done for cinema, I want to assume that most of you know all of this. Many of you watching are going to be fans like me. Don't worry, for those who aren't, I will still get down to the basics. But to start out, this time I want to talk to you all about what Star Wars means to me. I was first introduced to Star Wars at a very young age. Before this, my experience in film didn't stretch much further beyond Disney films like Aladdin or The Lion King. The first time I ever saw that title slam onto the screen and that music enveloped me, it was one of the most exhilarating experiences that I have ever had. I had never seen anything like this before. This was something new and exciting. Star Wars opened my eyes to a whole new world, something beyond childish imagination and beyond Saturday morning cartoons. It showed me the wonders and the spectacle that film could provide. And it is my personal belief that it is one of the films that inspired me to get into filmmaking in the first place. I wanted to create things this memorable and this awe-inspiring. A New Hope stars Mark Hamill, Carrie Fisher, Harrison Ford, Kenny Baker, Anthony Daniels, Peter Mayhew, and Alec Guinness, and introduces us to young Luke Skywalker, the true hero of the Star Wars mythos. He is a young boy who grew up on the desert planet of Tatooine with his aunt and uncle, but when two droids carrying a message from a princess from the stars find their way into his home, he embarks on a journey to return them to their former master Obi-Wan Kenobi. A journey that will introduce young Luke to a much larger world, governed by the ever-present Force, and place him on an adventure throughout the galaxy that pits him and his cohorts against the tyranny of the Galactic Empire. This was a film that changed everything. Its innovative techniques and drive to reinvent the classic space opera format pushed the boundaries of what we had known filmmaking to be capable of. Blowing the doors off the industry and giving birth to an entirely new generation of concepts and ideas that previously had been thought impossible. This film used every technique in the book. Everything from makeup effects and highly detailed puppets to stop motion animation, intricate models, and mind-blowing matte paintings. All of which came together to deliver an entirely new universe with boundless capabilities that were only limited by our imagination. This film introduced us to Darth Vader, who very well may be the single most iconic villain in the history of cinema. Starting with this film, one of the only things I can really say to the negative in the original trilogy is that some of the effects just don't hold up as well today. A few of the matte paintings and model combinations are a bit noticeable with today's advancements in high definition. In the entirety of Star Wars as a whole, Mark Hamill gives an amazing performance as Luke Skywalker. But for years, I remembered him as being a bit whiny. When I look at it now, I can see the nuances behind it. He's playing a teenager. That in itself comes with an arrogance and an immaturity. I'm sure it wasn't the intention at the time that these were made, but... That bit of whininess connects these films very well with Hayden Christensen's portrayal of Anakin in the prequels. Almost like that bit of whininess could have come from his father's side of the family. Every actor in this film delivered us a new character that we could fall in love with. Whether it be Harrison Ford's scruffy yet witty and lovable scoundrel, Carrie Fisher's beautiful princess who became the icon of boyhood fantasy for millions, all the way to the dynamic duo of Anthony Daniels and Kenny Baker as the two funny and iconic droids that captured the hearts of generations. As I've said many times before, I am a lover of practical effects, and this film is the epitome of why. Practical effects deliver a feeling of realism that CGI will never be able to. It's the practicality of these films that makes it what it is, that allow us to be captivated by what cinema can do, and make us believe that a world like this could exist in a galaxy somewhere far, far away. I'm giving Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope, an A+. For me, this will always be one of the best of the franchise. It is my second favorite Star Wars film of all time. I'm gonna bet that you can guess the first. <laughs> It's
If you enjoyed today's segment, feel free to click that sub button to stay up to date on all my latest reviews. Click that little bell to be notified on all future uploads. If you'd like to show your support for Embrace the Film, consider becoming a patron. For as little as $1 a month, you can help me produce more content each week. If you have any suggestions for the show, or for films you would enjoy seeing reviewed, or if you have a short film that you would like me to review, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to drop a like, and I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching.